Hey guys, today we are going to look at tables and transfer that relationship to an equation and a graph. So remember a linear relationship is y equals mx plus b. That b value is the y-intercept. It is where x is zero. That is where the graph line crosses the y-axis. And then the rate of change is m, that coefficient of x, that's often referred to as the rate of change in the dependent variable y compared to the change in the independent variable x. We write it like that, change in y over change in x. So to match an equation to a table, you need to determine the rate of change and the y-intercept from the table, and then we can select the equation that matches it, and then we can use the equation and or table to create the graph. So let's look at this first table right here. I can see that my b value is going to be 9, because remember the b value is where x is 0. So looking at these equations, I can already eliminate A because it does not have a B value of nine like the other equations do. Okay, now this one has a rate of change of four, this one two, and this one negative two. So let's see if my table is increasing or decreasing. We are increasing as the X values are increasing. So I can also eliminate D because the rate of change is not negative. We are increasing. So now I just need to actually find the rate of change, which remember is the change in Y divided by the change in X. So I'm just going to focus on these two ordered pairs right here. From nine to 17, that change in the Y value is plus eight. And then in the X values from zero to two is plus two. So the rate of change is eight over two, which simplifies to four. So our equation is y equals four x plus nine. Okay, now I can use this information to graph my y-intercept, remember was nine, so I can start by plotting the y-intercept at nine. And then I can plot some other points with my rate of change. So the rate of change is four, which is four over one. So this means I would need to increase the y values by four and increase the x values by one. There's not room to do that on this graph though. So we can go down four and then left one. We can decrease in the y values and decrease in the x values and that will still be a rate of change of four over one because that would be a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four decrease in the y values by four, and then left one, decrease in the x values by one. Down one, two, three, four, left one. Down one, two, three, four, left one. Down one, two, three, four, left one. And now I just draw my line through these points. Okay, let's look at this next one. So I notice right away I have that 0, 10 point. That means my y-intercept is 10. So I can go ahead and eliminate answer choice D. And then all of my rate of changes are positive, which is good because I can see that I'm increasing. So let's do the change in y divided by the change in x to figure out what the rate of change exactly is. So I'm just gonna focus on the first two ordered pairs again. My change in y from 10 to 12 would be plus two. And then my change in x from zero to four would be plus four. And two over four simplifies to one half. So my rate of change is one half or 0 0.5. So C is the equation that matches this. And now I just need to graph this line. So I'm going to plot my Y intercept at 10. And then my rate of change was one half. So typically that means I would increase one in the Y values and then increase two in the X values, but there's no room to do that. So I'm gonna go backwards and I'm gonna decrease one in the Y values and decrease two in the X values. Decrease one in the Y values, two in the X values. Continue that pattern and now I'm able to draw my line.
Okay, last one, it says, which equation matches the table? So I do not see a Y intercept because they did not tell me what the X value is when the Y value is zero. But I see this point 515 and it's clearly not the Y intercept. So that means I can eliminate answer choice A and answer choice C because I know the Y intercept is not 15. So with these two answers that I have left, it means I must have a proportional relationship, meaning the Y value when X is zero would also be zero. Let's do a little bit more investigating to see if that holds true. The first thing I'm gonna do is find the rate of change, which is the change in Y over the change in X. I'm gonna use these first two ordered pairs. So to get from 15 to 30, I would add 15. So the change in Y is 15. And then to get from five to 10, I would add five. So 15 divided by five is three. So this must be our equation, which again is a proportional equation. And if it is proportional, that means this relationship is also going to be multiplicative. Five times three is 15, 10 times three is 30, 15 times three is 45, 20 times three is 60, and 25 times three is 75. So yes, for a few reasons, we just proved that this is proportional. We don't have a y-intercept, our y-intercept is zero, and we have that multiplicative relationship. Now let's plot the line for this. So since it's proportional, that means our b value is zero. So I'm gonna plot my y-intercept at zero. And then the change in y over change in x would be three over one. So I'm gonna increase my y values by one, two, three, and go right one. Increase the y values by three, increase the x values by one, increase the y values by three, increase the x values by one.